This will be a celebration that will go down in the history of Missouri as the one and only of its kind and unique in the history of the state. It was something like we hadn't had before, uh, but I thought it was very exciting. And for Bolivar, this was a big occasion. From Bolivar, Missouri, Mutual will present an address by the President of the United States on the occasion of the dedication of the Simon Bolivar Memorial Statue presented to the United States by the government and the people of Venezuela. July 5, 1948, U.S. President Truman and Venezuelan President Gallegos arrive in Bolivar. The two came to honor a town that honored a man by choosing the name of Bolivar, the town named after Simon Bolivar, a fighter for freedom. At the young age of 22, Simon Bolivar vowed to help his country, Venezuela, gain independence from Spain. After many battles and nearly 16 years later, Bolivar's dream became a reality. Not only did he help his homeland, Venezuela, gain its independence in 1821, but five other South American countries also achieved their freedom under Bolivar's revolutionary leadership. While Bolivar's efforts have endeared him in the hearts of South Americans, his ideals have also captured the spirit of many U.S. citizens. Ten U.S. cities carry the Bolivar name. The government and the people of Venezuela chose to give the statue of the Great Liberator to Bolivar, Missouri, at the time, it was the largest of the ten cities, with a population of nearly 3,000 people. On this day in 1948, leaders of two free nations came to dedicate the statue and to celebrate the ideals of liberty and justice embodied in a man called Simon Bolivar. We've come together today to dedicate a statue to the great South American liberator, Simon Bolivar. This man led the movement for the liberation of half a continent. His memory is part of the spirit of freedom and independence in North and South America alike. We are especially honored that this statue is presented by the distinguished leader of the Venezuelan people, President Rumulo Gregos. This colorful ceremony is taking place today in Bolivar, Missouri, a town of 3,000 people that today is playing host to over 55,000 people who have gathered from all points of the world. We're celebrating the birthdays of two great republics in the Western Hemisphere. July the 4th, the United States of America. July the 5th, the United States of Venezuela. Something that will never happen again, perhaps. It's, it's, it's a big occasion. The president was the leader of the world and the leader of the country and presidential power has increased to leaps and bounds and he was a Missouri president and, and, uh, and it was a big deal for Bolivar. Festivities started early this morning here in Bolivar, Missouri with a colorful parade that lasted over an hour. We were supposed to be in step. Our uh, director was really uh, strong on us being in step, you know. But it, it was it was thrilling, you know. I I performed before the president. <laughs> Charles Newhart was on hand to see the activities and remembers security being much less than what we would expect today during a presidential visit. They had, I think, a deputy at each of the culverts along the way to. Uh, protect that, and or check it at least. And then I remember uh, there was a soldier standing on the old bank building, the top of it. Now I have a picture of that. And I think he had a rifle, and I'll bet a nickel it didn't have a round in it, because we just we didn't feel uh, terrorized in those days. 
The dedication ceremony on July 5th was the final event of a three-day Pan American Festival. Ernestine Stewart Kenzie was a queen candidate during the festival and remembers taking part in a dance to honor the Venezuelans. I think they estimated that there were around 7,000 people on the square that, that evening. Now, uh, when we got up on the stage, we were all introduced and then we were to start the Haropa. Now, we had been had given special lessons. I won't say we did it perfectly, but we did dance the Haropa, which was the native dance of Venezuela. Today we honor the memory of the Liberator in the spirit of thanksgiving for his great part in establishing freedom and democracy in the Americas. It was through the generosity of a country that wanted to keep Simon Bolivar, for us to know the meaning and the things that he did. Simon Bolivar was to South America like George Washington has been to, to the United States. I want to thank the governor, the mayor, and all who had a part in this wonderful celebration. You'll all look back on it with pleasure. You'll all remember it with pleasure. You'll talk about it, I think, for the next generation. <laughs>